Welcome to Video Podcast One, the five radiographic densities on learningradiology.com. I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. So the five basic densities are important for our fundamental understanding of conventional radiographs. They help us to tell the location of disease and they also will help us tell what those diseases may be. The five densities are metal density, bone or calcium density, soft tissue or fluid density, fat, and air. And the graphic on the left indicates approximately how they'll appear on an image. Metal absorbs the most x-rays, and very few of them reach the film cassette. Air, on the other hand, absorbs the least x-rays, so most will reach the film cassette and be able to darken it. Calcium fluid and fat are somewhere in between, so some are absorbed, some are transmitted, and they produce varying densities on the film cassette. How this works in everyday practice is shown on this frontal chest radiograph. We can see air density here in the left upper lobe of the lung. We can also see air density in the room surrounding the patient. We can see fat density in the chest wall. We can see fluid or soft tissue density in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen with the liver. We see bone or calcium density in the clavicle, scapula, and ribs. And there is metal density on this radiograph in the marker that the technologist places on the film to indicate that this is an upright PA film. So these are all five of the radiographic densities that we can see on a chest x-ray. How does this help us? Well, they provide a clue as to the composition of an abnormality, and they can also help to tell us where an abnormality is located, and that we'll talk about in the next video podcast. Here's a chest x-ray that you can pause your computer or MP3 player to determine where the abnormality is and what you think it might be. Well, you were correct if you identified an abnormal density superimposed on the right axilla. If we examine the density of that abnormality more carefully, we can tell that it is not a lymph node because it should be the same density as all the other lymph nodes in the axilla, and it's actually much denser than soft tissue. It's not a calcified lymph node because this is the density of calcium in the ribs, and it's denser than that. And yes, if you correctly identified this as a foreign body, you'd be correct. And if you identified it as a bullet, you would be even more correct. So this is metal density. Here's another abnormality. You can pause. Clearly, there is an abnormality in the right paratracheal region. And if we look at it carefully, we can see that it is soft tissue density. It's the same density as, for example, the heart. It's denser than the air in the lungs. It's adenopathy in the right paratracheal region. And did you also see that there was a mass in the lung, which represents the bronchogenic carcinoma this patient had, which metastasized to the regional lymph nodes. So this is soft tissue density. Here's a mini quiz for you. Look at this radiograph, pause your computer or MP3 player and decide what you think it is. Well, there is a metallic density right in the middle of this little kitty's chest and it's superimposed on the area where the trachea or the esophagus would be. This metallic density is a coin in the esophagus, and it actually represented a U.S. quarter. So if you correctly identified that it was metallic density, you were using the five basic radiographic densities. To recap, they are air, fat, soft tissue, calcium, and metal. 
and by knowing them, we can recognize what an abnormality is frequently and determine where the abnormality is.